Okay, and today's lesson we're going to talk about how to edit and manage your Keynotes file. And a traditional looking Keynotes file we've got here on the left in just normal notepad. Uh, so you can see how it's laid out. And what I'm just trying to illustrate here, I've got it open in Notepad++ so that you can see the annotation. You can see here the tabs uh, represented by orange arrows. Uh, and Essentially this is a uh, tab delimited text file um, and it defines the headings by being a main heading followed by a tab tab tab, subcategory followed by a tab tab and a reference to that main heading. All of the standard keynotes are actually just defined as the keynote itself and then the uh, keynote description and then which heading they're under, separated by tabs. Right, so it's a bit easy to see that going on in Notepad++. Now, both of these are a terrible way to actually uh, edit your keynotes and manage them because it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Um, so to generate this file, this .txt file that the uh, software needs, that Revit needs to be able to operate, um, I actually use a Excel spreadsheet and you can simply set it all up in your Excel spreadsheet uh, and then go file, uh, save as, uh, come down here and you're going to select text tab delimited and that text file will be formatted correctly so that Revit can use it. Now what uh, a very smart friend of mine, Scott Crichton, set up is uh, a little macro button here that does that process for you. So you can just edit in the keynote, hit this button, and it'll save that text file out for you automatically. Okay, now in this file you can see I'm trying to illustrate how you create subcategories, sub-subcategories, and sub-sub-subcategories uh, to organize your information better. Uh, so that when you look at it in Revit, you can understand where everything sits logically. Um, now, to do this, the general consensus in a lot of Keynote files I've seen have done it the way it appears on screen now. So they define the headings, so they define a main heading and then each subcategory underneath that. And you do this by essentially having the main heading with both of these rows blank. Uh, the subcategory will be blank and then reference which category it needs to sit underneath. The same thing goes for the sub-subcategory except you're then sitting it under a subcategory. And then the same process, the sub-sub-subcategory sits under the sub-subcategory. So you're just cascading down further and further. Basically this last column just dictates whatever uh, category you want it to sit under. All the normal keynotes that are in here are then simply defined by their keynote, keynote description and whatever heading you want them to sit under. So these, these first ones will sit directly under the main heading, these next four keynotes will sit under the subcategory and so on and so forth. Um, I think this organization seems to have come about because in general I found people believe that you need to define these headings first before you can refer to them. That's not actually the case. You can have this subcategory defined anywhere in the file. This line could be down the bottom here. You know that there's no reason this line can't be down here and then have it referred to above it in the file. It doesn't have to be in order. Now given that understanding my preference is to organize um, keynote files like this where we actually have the main heading and then the subcategory for that main heading and then the second subcategory the third subcategory if required try not to go too deep with these uh, and then you can define a new main category and subcategories under that uh, this is a lot easier to deal with in the file and it saves you having to always scroll back up to the top to see what the actual headings are it is uh, case sensitive and it will uh, it does need to have the correct you know spaces etc so whatever you've defined as this main heading you really want that exact same text in here and it's another example uh, where Excel is great in that I can copy this and quite quickly start to put those in and I know that it's going to be spelled right and have all the correct um, syntax so once you finish making those changes I can hit my export button it's going to resave that text file can then go into Revit and 
Keynote settings, reload. It's reloaded successfully. Now if I click on my Keynote, you'll see they're organized into headings, subcategories, etc. The main heading there. So hopefully that has helped you organize your Keynotes. Uh, we'll do another video another time on the best use and best practice for using Keynotes in an actual Revit project. Um, thank you for listening.